Gizmo is actually doing a Father's Day giveaway. It's gonna be the first link in the description down below, so definitely check it out. But let's get started with this video. So you might have seen in my most recent video that I actually picked up an iPad mini about a week ago and I've been absolutely loving it. But since I got it, I've been going down this rabbit hole of different accessories, different peripherals that I could be using with the iPad mini because now it does have that USB-C port. So today we're gonna talk about a dongle, a nine in one accessory or nine in one hub for the iPad mini, but not only for the iPad mini, works with the iPad Pro, works with pretty much anything that has a USB-C input, but I did wanna show this off by Gizmo. I think that's how you say it. So let's talk about it. So just to give you a quick little unboxing, in the box itself you get the device by Gizmo, so the Gizmo 9-in-1 USB-C hub. You get a USB-C to USB-A adapter that's also built right in. You get a full length, like a very long USB-A to USB-C cable, which is great to have just in case you need to get something done from a farther distance. And to my surprise, there was actually a CD-ROM in this thing. Like when's the last time you guys heard of a CD-ROM coming inside of packaging? and it was one of those mini ones that looks like it could have fit into a PSP. But you don't really need that because the drivers are on their website that you can install. And I actually don't use the drivers whatsoever because with the iPad especially, you don't need drivers in order for these things to work. But I've tried it on my Mac computer and you don't need these drivers whatsoever. But if you do want to download them, by all means, go for it. But that's pretty much everything that you get in the box. And honestly, the only thing you really need is the device itself because the adapter is built right into it. But to give you guys a walkthrough of exactly what is on this 9-in-1 adapter, so you do get a USB-C in for power pass-through. And you can push up to 100 watts of power, so you won't get that full 145 watts of power that you get with the MagSafe charger with your MacBook Pros, with the M1 Ultras and M1 Pros and things like that. But you do get up to 100 watts, which is more than enough for anybody using a MacBook Air, an iPad Pro, an iPad Mini, you know, whatever the case may be, that's plenty of power. But then you also get two HDMI ports, so it does let you use two separate displays. Obviously on the iPad side, you can't do that. It would just mirror two displays, so that's not really a good use case for it. But you do have two HDMI ports. You have a full Ethernet port, a VGA port, and then you also have four USB-A ports. Two of them with 3.1, so it's faster charging and fast data pass-through. And then you also have two more for some other peripherals, which are just 2.0 ports for things like mice and keyboard and like slow data stuff, or maybe even just a slow trickle charge. But that is what you get in this 9-in-1. And there are two things that I really like about this USB-C hub because yes, you can probably go on Amazon and pick up any USB-C hub that's the cheapest and it'll work, it's, it'll work for a decent amount of time. But for the most part, if, especially if you go and buy like a $30 one or a $40 one, for the most part, it's either gonna like overheat or you know get worse over time. And trust me, I've had the experience of going cheap. I purchased like a $20 USB-C hub once and pretty much after a week it was dead. But the two main things that I like about this is the build quality. So it does fit that Apple aesthetic. It has that aluminum feel and touch, so it's cool to the touch, which I love. It's got two little rubber stoppers on the bottom, so they're being intentional of people thinking like, hey, this is gonna be sitting on the desk, maybe right next to the device itself. And then the second thing that I really like about it is that the cable that's attached to it, it is a USB-C cable, but then literally connected to it is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So if you ever just wanna plug this into a USB-A port and just use this from a USB-A port, then by all means, you can definitely do that and it's built right into it, so you'll never lose the adapter. And for me personally, for this Gizmo device, my personal use case is, again, with the iPad mini usually, and I just stick it into that new Tiny Rigs like journal that I showed you guys in my previous video. And what I've been using it for is to actually plug it into like big screen. So when I'm, whenever I'm with people or there's an HDMI cable that I can plug it in, that's what I've been using it for. So I'll plug in the actual USB-C hub into the iPad mini, I'll plug it into power if need be, and then I will also plug it in to the HDMI port, and then I'll just have pretty much a home theater right then and there with the iPad mini. And that's what's beautiful about the iPad mini and this little device. Together, you can kind of do whatever you want to. You can use it as a little workstation if you want to, if you have the right peripherals, but then you can also use it as a home theater system where you literally plug it in and play YouTube videos, play Netflix, HBO Max, and anything like that. Like yesterday, I plugged it into a monitor just to be able to watch the new Grindelwald movie, the Dumbledore movie, and through HBO Max, and I just plugged it in and it worked perfectly, right? Because you can stream up to 4K60 with one HDMI, and then the other HDMI port is 1080p, so I stuck with the 4K one, which I absolutely loved. But obviously it'll work with your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, you know, your Windows 11 machine, your Samsung DeX machine. As long as it has a USB port and it can display to a secondary monitor, you'll be good to go and it works perfectly fine. It works as advertised. It hasn't gotten warm to the touch at all and it's been plugged in and running with power for hours and hours and hours over the last week and I've had zero issues with it, which is always a great test. If you do get a USB-C hub, the first thing you wanna do is stress test it a little bit, right? Run it for about two, three hours and if it starts to get warm and it starts to make your computer warm, then you know it's probably not the best quality. But this one by Gizmo has been absolutely awesome and all I can do is recommend it. So I am gonna link it down in the description below. I think it's a great like Father's Day gift if you guys do wanna jump on it. And I believe if you go on the Amazon and check off that little box, they'll give you $10 off. 
There's no discount code or anything like that. It's just $10 off that they'll take off the final price, which is always beautiful to have. So I believe it ends up being 60 bucks. So this is kind of like a cheap premium quality USB-C hub, which I would recommend to anybody with an iPad, with a MacBook Pro, with any other USB-C device where you wanna kind of extend your display a little bit more. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys didn't make it to the end, leave a little dolphin right here. And if you guys wanna see some more accessories for the iPad or the iPad mini, click on one of these videos right here. And we do got more iPad mini content incoming. I'm out of here. Peace.